Okay, YouTubers. Uh, this is part three of the uh, American Log Build. And we're going to get into uh, making the gables that go on top of the buildings. Uh, I thought about just making it plain out of one piece of wood, but I wanted the uh, log effect in here. So uh, I decided to cut individual logs, router them, and then glue them together. And now I'll show you how these were made. Okay, uh, next thing we'll do in the uh, American log build here is we'll make the gables. Uh, I've drawn up a four dado gable and the way that I'm going to approach this is I'm going to rip the uh, stock down to three quarters uh, high by 700 wide. Uh, first I'll uh, cross cut this off slightly longer than this 12 and a quarter inches and then I'll rip them put the dados in this bottom one uh, then I'll use the uh, router table to round over all the pieces then I'll glue up these top four pieces and they'll be rough cut you know then I'm going to cut the angle on this top part then I'll glue that to this bottom piece, making sure that it's centered. Then, uh, to cut the notches, I'll cut these last. Probably on the bandsaw. Just cut it in a little bit and cut down, make the notch. And then we'll cut this to the uh, 12 and a quarter inch length. Uh, the other gables for the three notch sides and the two notch sides will be almost the same thing except the uh, lengths are for each one is three inches shorter uh, than the print shows for the four notch gable. Okay now I've taken a uh, one by four stock here and I cross cut uh, the five pieces. Uh, next we'll uh, rip these here in the logs. Alright, now, uh, since uh, on this bottom we want the uh, dado to be an inch and a quarter from the end. Now remember these were cut longer, about an inch longer. So I made a line here, uh, inch and a half. And I'll line that one there up to make the first dado cut. And then we'll go from there.
So we've got inch and a half there and about an inch and three quarters there. Well, these will be trimmed off later. Okay, now I've cut the uh, dados in one side of these long ones. And what we're going to do now is route two each of these five pieces. <laughs> Okay, now we've got all uh, 10 pieces routed, and next we can uh, take the four pieces, not counting the bottom one, and glue them up. Okay, next I uh, marked the center of each of the four shorter pieces, and uh, I'll glue them together like that. Okay, now I've got these glued up. Now the next thing we'll do, we have the center. I'll take a 30 degree uh, angle. Mark the uh, bottom here on each side. The other way. Okay, then I drew a line here and here. Now according to my sketch up, this should be about 10 and a half inches, which it is. So then uh, I'll take and uh, put that in my small parts jig. Now if you haven't made one of these yet, I would highly recommend it. I have a video on how to make this small parts jig. I uh, set that center line there at the edge and this one here at the edge. Got them clamped down and we're ready to cut. Okay, now we got our uh, 30 degree angles. I'll check the bottom dimension. Uh, it's going to be 
slightly large. It's a little over ten and a half. Uh, the angle isn't really that critical. What we want is for it to be symmetrical. Now I'll go ahead and cut the other one and then if there's any slight differences we can always uh, either trim off one side or the other or uh, sand it off. So, but what we want it to be so that they line up and you flip it over and they're the same. That's what we're shooting for. Okay, now I've got the two cut. And uh, this way, they're right on. Even though this little flat here at the top on this one here is a little wider. But now we'll check them this way. And there's a the very, very slight difference there and here. But that's perfectly acceptable. Now I can always touch, touch those up on the uh, disc sander, you know, to bring them in so that they're a lot closer. And the lines line up there, there, and there. Like I say, the angle isn't really that critical as long as it's, you know, close to 30 degrees. What is critical is they should be symmetrical. Okay, and that takes care of that. Now next step we'll be doing, after I even those up a little bit, is I'm going to put... Uh, glue this to this four dado bar. Now this we want exactly centered on these dados. Alright, this is uh, where we're at now. I've got uh, three sets. A four dado, a three dado, and a two dado. Uh, like I mentioned, the next thing I have to do is center these and glue these on. Okay, now when I glue these on, like I mentioned, I want them to be symmetrical in respect to these notches. So I've set up two logs here laying on their side and I'll put these on like so. And here's a little trick to get them symmetrical. Set these on here like so. Eyeball them in. Take this one off. Flip it around. And then move them a little bit to each side to get them symmetrical. Now that's the way that we'll glue those up. Now I'll pop this one off, flip it around, line them up, and 
flip it around again to make double sure. <laughs> and they're even. Then we'll uh, put a little weight on the top here and let the glue set up. Okay, now I've set my marking gauge to 9 16 and from the bottom here we'll draw a line. It'll be 3 16 down from the top. Then I'll uh, take my 3060 uh, triangle here and we'll draw a line down the edge to that line. And then we'll draw a 60 degree up from that. Alright, now that'll be the notch. And we'll cut that out with the bandsaw. I marked a line here a half an inch from the uh, top of that notch and that's where we'll be trimming these off. Now that, uh, that completes the uh, gable ends. Okay, this uh, will conclude part three of the American Log Build. Uh, next part, four, will deal with some accessories. Thank you. I hope you like it. And please feel free to click the like button and the subscribe button below. Thank you.